So today's question here brings us to an arithmetic series, right? And all things considered, this question here is pretty straightforward, but let's just run through it together. Hopefully there isn't too many issues. So for the first part of this question here, then part A, all we want to do here is just find the common difference of the series. Now what I know here then is for a given arithmetic series, the first term is 16, so A is 16, and the 21st term is 24, so U, 21, is equal to 24. So let's just put all of this together here to find the common difference of the series. Now you should be aware then that the m term here for an arithmetic series, so that's un here, is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d, right? I know a here, I know what n is, that is 21, so let's just put all of that together and let's just find then the common difference of the series here. So as we just said then, u21 here is equal to a, which is 16, Plus then 21 minus 1, so that's 20, times by d, and u21 here is equal to 24. From here then, let's just solve for d, right? So um, 24 minus 16 is just a, so I get 20d is equal to a. And in that case then, d here is just the same as 4 over 10 or not, point four, whichever you prefer. But there we go then, that gives the common difference of the series. And now for the final part of this question here, then part B, it just says, hence find the sum of the first 500 terms of the series. Right, so how do we do this here? Well, all we need to do then is just use the formula for the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series. Now for the sum of the first n terms here of an arithmetic series, don't forget then that we do use this result here. So Sn is equal to n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. We know what a is, we know what d is, so in that case then we also know what n is as well, I forgot that. But putting that all together then we can find the sum of the first 500 terms of this arithmetic series here. So in that case then the sum of the first 500 terms here is equal to 500, so 500 over 2, so n here is 500 right, then times that by 2a, so that's two lots of um, a here which is 16, so that's 32, Plus then, so n again is 500, so 499 times d here, which is 4 over 10. So 4, 9, 9 times 4 over 10. Perfect. At this point here, just put this into your calculator, right? You don't need to do anything fancy. And if you do this correctly then, what you'll get here for the sum of the first 500 terms of the series is 57,900. There we go. Perfect. That gives us the solution to today's question.